What's up guys, Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a Mac app called Screen Taker. Now I've gotten so many questions from uh, from you guys on how I make this iPhone kind of like uh, image with the nice little shadow and I actually use my own screenshots within this uh, within the iPhone. I, I just get a lot of questions about this. I don't Photoshop any of these. Uh, it's all automatic. It's a Mac app. It's called Screen Taker. So let's just quickly take a look at it. So Screen Taker right here. I believe it's $4.99 in the App Store. Uh, don't quote me on that. I forgot. I'll leave the link for it down in the description. So what you're going to want is a screenshot from either your iPhone 5, your iPad, or your iPod. And it will basically detect on what size it is and what uh, device should it should bring up. Now, I, we are waiting for updates for this, basically. There's no iPod Touch 5th generation kind of frames out yet. No colors to pick from or anything like that. Uh, there is the iPhone 5 in white and black to choose from, and no iPad mini yet either. So just kind of waiting on some updates, but a great app nonetheless. So just go ahead and let's drop this screenshot in here. And we'll start. We'll do um, we'll do iPhone 4-inch because that's the iPhone 5. And then orientation will leave portrait. You can also switch it to landscape, either side you want, if it is a landscape image. And then we can go ahead and we can do effect. So let's full screen, and then you have no status bar as you see it. Remove the status bar. And then here's reflection, which is the black iPhone 5 frame. So it puts your screenshot right into the frame, which is awesome. And you can, when you save it, you can, you know, pick exactly what size you want or use another program. I actually do this, and then I go into uh, uh, Pixelmator, and that's where I actually do all my thumbnails through. I do it right through Pixelmator. So just cancel that. So that's the black iPhone 5. And then they also have reflection white, which is obviously the white iPhone 5, which looks oh so sexy. Love the white iPhone 5. And then you just have shadow, which actually adds a really cool looking shadow effect to the bottom of the screenshot. I think that looks really nice. So that is the, the iPhone 5, basically. There is the iPod Touch 4-inch, which basically is showing that he is going to be pushing out updates for this. But when you select it, and you go to the effects, all you have is full screen, no status bar, and shadow. And there's no other variations than that. There's no actual iPod Touch 5G frames that go around it at this point. So uh, just waiting on the update for that. I'm sure it'll be awesome when he pushes it out. So we'll just cancel that. And then we'll do the iPad real quick. Here's an iPad screenshot, which I actually used on a thumbnail. And uh, device, iPad, landscape left. You can change it to portrait. Um, if you leave it in landscape, you only get it in the black frame. So as you can see right there, you only get a black iPad frame. But if you switch it to portrait, you get the black and the white. So there you go. There's the white version. And basically everything else is the same as the iPhone 5. And then... Real quick here, we'll do the iPhone 4S, 4, 3GS, iPod Touch 4th generation, so on and so forth. With just This is just a wallpaper from um, Everything iDevice, which is a really awesome wallpaper. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link. Just go over to everythingidevice.com, go to wallpapers, go to iPhone and iPod. And once it loads, here's a whole bunch of awesome uh, wallpapers you guys can use. Download for free from Everything iDevice. So anyways, back to this. So let's play around with the iPhone 4, 4S, so on and so forth. So device, you do iPhone. We can switch it to iPod Touch real quick. And they actually, there's reflection right there. So there's the fourth or third or fourth generation iPod Touch, which you can switch it to right there. There's no white version, which is kind of sucky, but whatever. And let's switch it back to iPhone here, and we'll, as you can see, there's a ton for the iPhone. So you have earphones, which is looks like the iPhone 3GS or 3G with uh, the earphones coming out, which does look very nice. You have full screen, which is the same as the iPhone 5. You have the 3GS. You have, uh, now these are some downloads. I'll show you where to get these in a second. You have iPhone 4 Perspective which is kind of like an angle, which looks very cool. iPhone 4 standing. No reflection or no status bar. And then there's just the black 
of course, and the white. And it does appear to be the 4S with the antenna brakes on it. So you also have the shadow just like normal. And then you have side by side, which was another download. So where I got a couple of these options for the iPhone 4 is I went to uh, get more effects. Just click that and it'll open up the page in whatever browser you're using. As you can see, here's a download side by side. Color invert, I didn't get that. I feel no need to color invert uh, those screenshots at all iPhone 4 perspective and then iPhone 4 standing and that's where I got those directly from the link within the app and that's basically it guys just a really awesome uh, Mac app which allows you to put your your screenshots into a iPhone or iPod or iPad body so I'm not sure what I'm gonna name this video that's kind of a confusing tutorial name but uh, yeah, that's basically it, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to throw me that thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Also, if you want to see more tutorials like this, be sure to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.